Good day everyone, so this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another edition of Miss Universe 2019 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis and today I am going to talk about Miss Universe New Zealand 2019 and since New Zealand belongs to the Africa and Asia Pacific, here's my current ranking for that region. And at the end of this video, you will be seeing an updated ranking if ever New Zealand makes it in my personal top 10 for this region. So you have to wait until the end. So let's begin. New Zealand started competing in 1954. They already won once in 1983 with Lorraine Downs. And their latest placement was in 1992 with Lisa Marie de Montauk, who finished in the top 10. This year, they just crowned Diamond Lange. She's 27 years old and she stands 5'10". She's got her master's in advanced professional styling as well. She previously competed in Miss Face of Beauty International 2013, where she won the title. She also competed in Miss Earth 2017, representing Tonga, where she successfully placed in the top 16. So it's going to be a reunion for her and Pawin Suda Durin from Thailand, who also competed in Miss Earth in the same year. And this year, she won Miss Universe New Zealand 2019, which gave her the opportunity to represent her country in the Miss Universe 2019 pageant. And honestly, when it comes to her overall styling, I can see how she made her transition from Miss Earth to Miss Universe New Zealand. But I prefer her hairstyle when she competed in Miss Earth, where she just let everything down straight. Well, I prefer her Miss Universe New Zealand facial makeup because it's more on a lighter tone and everything just shines in her face. When it comes to her walk, it is something that she really needs to work on because it is good, but I want it to be stronger. Again, this is Miss Universe already. So for her profile, her experiences in many pageants and even international pageants could be her springboard, springboard of experience to hopefully help her do well in Miss Universe. I actually like her, but if I go now to the comparison of hers between other candidates from her region, which is a very, very strong region, we are definitely going to have a longer discussion. But for now, here is my updated ranking for Asia Pacific and Africa and don't forget that I will be releasing my new Miss Universe leaderboard probably somewhere on the 20th of August. I mean, on the 23rd, 24th, or 25th, somewhere in that zone because there's a lot of new contenders for Miss Universe. I have to review all of them first. So expect a lot of shuffle to this ranking. But as of the moment, Here's my current top 10. And unfortunately, New Zealand didn't make it in my personal top 10 for Asia, Pacific, and Africa. My number 10 is Malaysia. 9 is Nepal. 8 is Myanmar. 7, Australia. 6 is Sierra Leone. 5th, South Africa. 4th is Philippines. 3rd, Vietnam. 2, Indonesia. And my number 1 is still Thailand, Pawin Suda Druvin. So if you wanted to check my reviews of these contestants, and of course the contestants from other regions, you can just go ahead and check on my channel. And I have also made a personalized playlist where you can see all of my reviews for the Miss Universe 2019 contestants selected so far. So what do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.